Hi everyone, Matt at SplitDragon.com here. Um, I'm continuing our series of walking you through Lazada Seller Center so you can uh, understand how to operate a store within Lazada. Uh, and, and this is now my 13th video uh, and I'm going to just introduce uh, the store um, section of uh, Lazada Seller Center. So uh, within the store section, it's really quite simple. So, you know, we can we can go and we can look and just give you a couple examples of what this looks like uh, within the front end. Um, and so anytime you're selling, you're, you're basically selling two things, right? You're selling your brand or you're selling your products. Okay, so let's talk about um, basketball. Okay, um, so if I search for basketball, what I'm going to get is I'm going to get a list of all of the uh, products, okay, that are related to basketball. Um, but if I want to dive into an individual store, then I would need to go and click on that seller, okay? So now I'm jumping into the, P the PDP page, and now I'm going to click on global top selling, and now we've arrived at their store page, okay? Um, so this store page is very heavy on the vouchers at the top. Um, it looks like they've done some custom imaging uh, right here. They're calling up a uh, hot sales, trying to get people to follow their store um, and just identifying, you know, different items. And then from here we have a product um, product list and you can shop this individual store. So that's what this looks like to consumers. Uh, and I'm going to show you within Seller Center now how you can modify the look and feel of this store. Okay, so it's basically done within the store store column on the left. Uh, you click on store decoration. Okay, so store decoration will take you into the user interface, and I, you can basically um, very quickly see what your store looks like on mobile. Remember that about 75% of traffic right now uh, is coming from mobile, so you should always design mobile first. Uh, and then you can also see desktop um, by, by clicking the desktop, and they'll give you a nice little pop-up. So you can see that I just started my store. This is a demo account. Uh, I'm not actually selling. I just make software. Um, so you can see that I have a null header, um, so there probably should be some sort of header graphic here. And then I probably should be communicating the value of my products. I should show a list of products. I should be offering vouchers um, because Lazada loves vouchers, right? So uh, let, I'll just go ahead and jump in and, and show you how to modify uh, a given store. So now I just click on edit. Um, the first thing that I think you can do, if, especially if you're a novice seller, is there's no need to reinvent the wheel. Uh, you can just go to page templates on the left and this is where you get some default uh, themes, if you will. So uh, the default themes are default layouts that you can use and then you can plug and play. It makes it easier for you to um, customize uh, your store and you don't have to think about uh, creating the design from scratch. You can just run with what they have. Um, it's very similar to like a WordPress theme or very similar to like a Shopify theme. Uh, but a lot simpler, a, a lot simpler. Um, so let's just go ahead and say that I'm going to reuse my theme. I click on reuse it, okay, and now it's populated. We have vouchers at the top, okay? So if I click on vouchers, it's going to uh, get, tell me to uh, select my vouchers. I can either do that automatically uh, via the system, or I can do manual. If you do automatically, most likely what's going to be displayed is your, your, your largest vouchers. Um, if it's uh, product highlights, you know, so this is basically, you know, a, a series of uh, images, uh, products that you want to include, uh, product titles that are pulled um, from from your listing. Uh, and then from here, you mostly get like category navigation. So if you're selling a product in multiple categories, uh, then you can specify that uh, or just see like a list of products. Um, but, but there's there's some customization elements that are available. Of course, you can delete anything that you don't want to see. Um, and I would say that it's it's probably better to just keep it simple if you if you don't have a very big store. Uh, if you do have a big store, then you need to be a bit more creative about it and look into segmentation of the categories of your products, uh, stuff like that. So uh, if you click on categories, then you can get a smart category list. Um, so this is categories is fundamentally product categories, right? So you can look at um, different uh, categories that this seller is selling in. So they say they're selling sports and outdoors, mobile and tablets, TV, audio, toys and games, cameras, cameras and laptops. If you're only selling in one category, then it doesn't really, it's not necessary for you to, to bother with this. Um, but you can use their recommended uh, category or you can create a guided category navigation 
or you can just come up with a basic list like this. Um, the banner is just a quite simple image, uh, and now they offer clickable banners uh, within Lazada. Um, so we can just go with a, a simple banner. Um, we can drag and drop it. Let's see, it's moving a little bit slow. Um, yeah. So we drop the banner carousel. Okay, so now we have a banner carousel. And now I can jump in and I can upload an image that I want of uh, 1,200 pixels, 1,920 pixels. Uh, this is a carousel, so it would be multiple images. I can com communicate multiple value propositions on this page. Um, there's really a lot that you can do here from a marketing perspective, but I would say definitely focus on mobile. Uh, and that's why Lozada is giving you the default mobile first view rather than PC, because there's just a lot more traffic uh, that's coming um, via mobile. And you could definitely say that Lozada is very much now a mobile first platform. When you get into products, so products are, are really quite simple. You have two different types of um, structures. You have like a, a, a default um, a default carousel, which is you specifying which products you want to display. And then you have product recommendations, right? So recommendations are basically determined by Lazada. Um, and you're, you're using uh, the Lazada's um, knowledge of that visitor of how to present um, which products at which time to a seller. So it could fluctuate. So it depends how you want to structure your store. If you want to be static and, and stick a, a product in an individual place, or you want to give Lozada the ability to customize it. Promotions are um, loved by Lozada. So I mean, I think in a lot of campaigns, they really push you to list vouchers on your store uh, and recommend you to uh, try to collect as many followers as possible so that you can send vouchers out and communicate to them with the, within the feed. Um, I won't dive into that in too much details right now, but uh, it, it does make sense uh, to include some vouchers um, because it's, it's a big part of the Lazada selling and, and buyer experience. Um, buyers have come to expect it now. Videos, this is kind of the last area. So you can you can drag and drop a module for videos. Uh, and then from there, you can just go ahead and, and upload a video of whatever it is that you want to communicate related to your brand identity or to an individual product or to a specific category. After that's done, it's, it's pretty much live. Um, and that's, that's the store builder feature. I can go ahead and jump in and just really like quickly show you um, some of the other, um, let's look at, you know, let's look at some of the, the, the really good ones, right? Let's go to L'Oreal and see, see what L'Oreal is doing with their store. So we, we automatically see that it's in results. It's a flagship store. Um, so it's kind of like a Tmall experience. Uh, if you're, if you're familiar with China, uh, that's kind of the first phases of Tmall, but here they're very, very heavy on um, specific products because it's a mid-year festival um, only one voucher, but it's pretty strong, you know, 20% uh, off uh, for all of the L'Oreal store right now during the mid-year campaign. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's about all I really need to cover for stores. If you have any questions, please just leave them in the comments section. Uh, if you appreciated this content, please subscribe on YouTube uh, and go to splitdragon.com. Check out, check out our software, um, sign up for a free trial. Um, and uh, keep in touch. Uh, thanks for your time. Enjoy your day. Bye.